And welcome to a game that really should pulse us racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Reading, and they take on Sheffield United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Glance at the Reading starting 11. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession just to give them a threat going forward. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Sheffield United. John Egan plays alongside Jack Robinson in central defence. John Fleck plays alongside Sander Berge in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oliver McBurney. Can they create something from here? It's there for him. And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. Intense pressure. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. Well, I think we're going to see more of the same today. Oliver Norwood. Carroll. And it's with Hendrik. Yaku Meite. Carroll. Superb block. Just cutting off the supply. Max Lowe. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. John Fleck. McBurney. Berger with it. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Carroll. Yaku Meite. What can they do from here? Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looks so promising.
Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Oliver McBurney. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Mekay. It's with Tom Ince. Might be able to set up the chance. Carroll. Well, that is how to play advantage. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, I have a feeling we're going to see this time and time again tonight. It's a fantastic bit of technique just to get that much lateral movement on the ball. Wonderful strike. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Oliver McBurney. Norwood. Max Lowe on the ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. McBurney. And he stopped them in their tracks. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, a yellow card it is, and not too many complaints. No, he can't argue with that. He's been warned. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. Yakumete. Takes it on, and the keeper stretching to deny him. Short corner taken. Carroll. He's given it away. Mete. It might be. Oh, fine stop. So the corner played into the box. The clearance wasn't decisive. And so it is, the first half story has been written. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect.
That's a very fine piece of tackling. Is this the moment? Really digging in at the back, but still the opportunity. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Short corner it is. But into the keeper's gloves. McBurney. An unforced error, you've got to say. Can they hit on the break? Great opportunity. And the goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. away again and a 2-0 advantage here yes. Oliver McBurney might be able to get in behind the defence that's well blocked John Fleck McBurney and the keeper had the measure of it. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the... Playing it in. Well, last line of defence, literally. Abdul Rahman Baba. It's with Tom Ince. Keeping the ball moving. Well, possibilities in the centre. Taking this care of business defensively here. At full time, can you please remain where you are? And your coach will meet you outside the stand. Jaden Vogel. Now McBurney. Well, far from the ideal pass. Just 15 minutes remaining. Mamadou Loom. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Carroll. And an astute piece of defending. Oliver McBurney. Delightful pass. Well, nothing productive, really. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And there's the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. Mamadou Loom. And a strong tackle. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move.
Jeff Hendrick. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. And it's with Hendrick. Mete. Oh, a vital interception. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, no doubt in my mind, he was the best player on the pitch. And the main reason they won this game, he was brilliant.